What's going on guys, this is Spooky, and this is another Zenless Zone Zero guide talking to you about the new drive discs, Protopunk, and Chaos Jazz that recently released in version 1.2. I'll be talking to you about whether they're worth pulling for and farming or using your resources at Elfie, or whether you should not bother and just stick to the discs that you've already been farming. First, I'm going to start with the Protopunk drive disc set. And this one is meant to be a defensive one, so clearly it's going to be good on your defense characters. The two-piece gives an extra 15% to any shield generated by the agent. The four-piece says that whenever any squad member, so not just the equipper, uses a defensive assist or an evasive assist, everyone gets 15% extra damage, and it lasts for 10 seconds. There's no cooldown on this, so you can just keep on stacking it and keeping it lasting as long as you want. Now, the best characters for this one to go out immediately are Seth or Caesar. You could also kind of use the two-piece on Ben. The two-piece is actually pretty good on Ben, so you might want to consider that also. But if you're going to heavily farm this, then you probably need to have a Seth or a Caesar on your squad that you're trying to build up. And you can farm this one on the new routine cleanup stage. It's called Hunter and Beast. This is the same stage where you farm the Chaos Jazz. I'll make the decision really easy for you right now. If you're not heavily playing Seth or Caesar, then you should probably consider skipping the set and not wasting your time. You could put it the two-piece on your Ben for a little bit of a bigger shield, but his shield is usually big enough that he's fine without it. If you really, really feel like it, maybe farm him a two-piece on some of the easier slots, but don't waste too much resources on this unless you plan on heavily investing into Seth or Caesar. Having said that, this is probably the best set for Caesar, and it's maybe one of the better ones for Seth too because you just want him to support the team and help them deal extra damage. So it's excellent for the two of them. I Obviously, if you're using both in the same squad, don't make both of them wear the set because you won't get a double bonus. Now, if you do wear this four-piece set on your character, I will recommend some good two-piece sets to go with it. The first one is Swing Jazz, which will give you a little bit of extra energy regen. This is valuable both on set and on Caesar because you want to use their EX skills pretty much at every, every opportunity possible. All right, next up, I want to talk about the Chaos Jazz set, and this one is great in that both the two-piece and the four-piece are useful, and the two-piece could potentially be useful for a lot of different characters. Now, the two-piece effect is Anomaly Proficiency plus 30. The four-piece says that fire damage and electric damage is flat increased by 15%. That's already great, and then while off-field, some attacks will have increased damage as well. When you come back onto the field, this bonus will last for a short amount of time, too. So, immediately, the four-piece is excellent for Bernice, although she's not released yet. If you know anything about her kit and the hints that they've been throwing at us, obviously, this set is going to be very good for her because she's one of the first characters that does consistent off-field damage alongside the on-field damage that she can do. But, this set also can be very good for Grace. Number one, because of the flat 50% attack, and number two, because of the buff continuing for five seconds when she returns, which is actually almost enough time for her to get out some of her faster rotations, because if you know how Grace works, she pretty much comes in, she does her little combo, and then she gets the heck out of there, and she lets the next damage dealer do their thing, unless you're building her as a heavy electric Grace. So if you have Grace, you might want to strongly consider the Chaos Jaws. Now, going back to talking about the two-piece set, if you have a character that is already wearing four-piece Freedom Blues, let's say Grace isn't a good example of that, that could wear four-piece Freedom Blues, but there are other Anomaly characters that like the Freedom Blues as well. Well, if you have a four-piece Freedom Blues on that Anomaly character already, it could be any Anomaly character, whoever you want. It could be Jane, even though some people put in a fifth set. It could be anybody. When you have that four-piece Anomaly, if you get this two-piece set on top of that, you can add another 30 Anomaly proficiency. So it's a good little way to get a little extra proficiency in there alongside the stats. Alright, so my final thoughts on whether or not you should farm for these sets. I would say that for the first set we're talking about, the Protopunk, you should only farm for this set specifically if you're going to get something for a Caesar or for a Seth. If you're not building either of those two characters, I probably would not bother wasting any stamina on this, and I definitely would not waste any resources on Elfie making this set. Maybe you want the two-piece if you're playing a Ben and you're having fun making gigantic shields and just, you know, sloshing your way through the enemies. But I don't even think Ben really needs the set. He's already very tanky without it, and I think that you're better off going for some type of stats that are going to help him do even more damage. 
Now I'm talking about the second set, Chaos Jazz. This one is a lot more universal. If you are going to pull for Bernice, maybe you want to wait till you for sure had the Bernice before you farm the set. But some people are the type that like to pre-farm. So maybe you could pre-farm some of this and get her ready and get her in there. It also might not be bad for Soldier 11 or something like that if you've got a Soldier on the squad. But the two-piece is kind of good for like any Anomaly character. And the four-piece also is probably pretty good for Grace. So I would say this set is maybe worth farming if you have a lot of Anomaly characters. If you're playing Anomaly type of teams or if you have a high chance of pulling for Bernice, then you may want to farm some of this Chaos Jazz set. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for checking out all the videos on the channel. I like to make these short and sweet. So I will see you all later. Have a beautiful day.